I don't know how they're going to take the surface contact out of their signal when you have dark air emission which is not as there yet. So yeah. um, but yeah, so we're going to get stereo, really good stereo data. They can do 50 meter global or near global. We can't get the whole just because now all this, but we can get near global data. It's September 2015. I'm here at the Open University with Louise Proctor, who's visiting us. You've seen Louise uh, talking about Ganymede, but she's on her way to a meeting about missions to Europa. Louise, are we going to actually get missions to Europa soon? I think we are finally getting a mission to Europa. We've been trying to get a mission to Europa for over a decade, uh, but in June, NASA finally approved a mission to Europa in the US, so we are going to Europa. And does it have a name? Um, right now it doesn't have a name. Uh, during the study phase the mission was called the Europa Clipper. The Clipper of course being like a, a fast ship sailing the ocean and Europa we think has an ocean. Uh, oh, right yeah. now it doesn't have a name, we're not sure what it's going to be called. Okay, and Europe has JUICE for Jupiter, Icy Satellite Explorer, whatever it stands for. That's so there right. are two missions that will go to Europa. That's correct. Um, is, are you going to orbit Europa? We are not going to orbit Europa unfortunately. Um, financial constraints mean that we are going to orbit Jupiter and we're going to do multiple flybys of Europa. So we're currently planning about 45 flybys of Europa. We'll encounter Europa at different places in its orbit so we'll get global coverage in pieces. Okay so it's going to be happening, it's going to be orbiting Jupiter in Twenty what? Twenty twenty. Good question. We're launching in twenty twenty two. Is the current launch date? Uh, we don't know yet what launch vehicle we're going on. Um, the the current baseline launch vehicle will get us there in about six or seven years. So we'll get there about twenty twenty eight. But we are also looking at a new, bigger launch vehicle that might be able to take us directly. That would get there in about two or three years. Okay. And what's the big thing you want to find out? Oh my goodness, well the main purpose of the mission is to determine whether Europa is a habitable world. Does it have the ingredients that we think are necessary for life? So water, interesting chemical compounds and energy. All our models say that it does, but we want to go there and verify it. Thanks Louise. Thank you.